Buenos dias. Hello. Bonjour. This is Kai Pacha with the weekly Paleo Report for May 25th of 2015. And I'm up here in Montreal, Quebec, which is totally perfect for this Sun Mercury Mars conjunction going on in Gemini because Gemini is the city and I am in the city. So let's see what else is going on with these aspects. That Sun, what I'm going to be talking about mostly today is that that Sun Mercury Mars conjunction is square to Neptune. They take turns one at a time. Today, Monday, Mars is square Neptune. Thursday, Mercury squares Neptune. And Sunday, the Sun squares Neptune. Just boom, boom, boom. One after the other. Yeah? So they're all traveling together through there while the moon is now in Virgo. She moves into Libra on Wednesday. And then on Saturday, into Scorpio. Finally, Sagittarius on Monday. So the moon is moving through, yeah, Virgo to Sag, and the sun, Mercury, Mars moving through Gemini. We have one aspect with Venus, and that is today, Venus squares Uranus. Let me find a little spot here where I'm out of the rain, if that's possible, and talk to you about what all that means. Okay, everybody. So what are we talking about these days? Well, you know, Neptune is the collective unconscious in astrology. It rules over dreams, illusions, lies, deception, and enlightenment. <laughs> it's meditation, music, art that opens the crown chakra, your singing bowls and your didgeridoos and everything and your kirtan that you know, connects you with infinite oneness and drugs, alcohol, addictions, escapism, avoidance, and denial. So it's a whole mixed bag. And so now what we've got is, I kind of think of it as like the Sun, Mercury, Mars is like, you know, Gemini has to do with siblings. It's very youthful. Uh, it's like the uh, Puer, Puella Eternus, the eternal youth is Gemini and so we got this Mercury Mars Sun kind of like the gang of the gang of guys you know tromping through the neighborhood the teenagers you know <laughs> Gemini has to do with the city and the neighborhood and your neighbors and so you know Mercury's talking and the Sun is like big stuff and you know Mars is like charge go 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 and you know it's the tough guys running through the neighborhood right and it's it's interesting because this is a time, and I talked about it, you know, uh, last week a little bit, you know, with all this energy in Gemini. Gemini is curiosity, seeking more information, reading, studying, Googling, Facebooking, you know, it's like, I need more information, more information. And so the Sun, Mercury, and Mars is like, gimme, 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 gimme. I'm gonna take this class, I'm gonna get this certificate, I wanna make new friends, I wanna get my website going, I'm gonna... And it's interesting then that this kind of, it's like this gang kind of, you know, comes around through the neighborhood and all of a sudden, Neptune. You know, there's this square from Neptune. The infinite spiritual chaotic cosmos. And it's almost like the gang runs into a fog. Neptune rules fog, clouds illusions and confusion confusion so this is a time where we can be facing confusion we can be facing information overload yeah I mean Neptune is like no rules no boundaries no laws no limits so when it connects with these guys, it's like more, 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 give me more, 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 and get the, you know, those wheels turn in and that, you know, monkey mind, you know, masturbating, and it's just like bop, 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 you know? Anything goes, everything's possible, you know, let's like travel and learn and study and talk <laughs> nonstop. So 
it's really something because the way that Gemini evolves is by gathering, gathering to the point of overloading the ego or the left brain with too much information and blowing its own mind. That's the way that Gemini evolves. That's the way Mercury and this third house, it's like I gather all this information and it's like, you know, ironic and dichotomic and, you know, paradoxical and, and you know, dualistic and all, and it's like all of a sudden I just like implode. Implode. It's like I take it all in and it's like it overwhelms me too much. Neptune is the immune system. You can actually get physically sick. Yeah, Neptune is viruses and bacteria and diseases and, you know, when it's square, you know, Mars is my power, my strength, myself, and it squares Neptune and Neptune just like says, you little nothing, <laughs> you little <b> <laughs> I mean, even the sun and, and Mercury, I know, I mean, it's, it's just like when Neptune comes around, you know, well, when you have these aspects of particularly the square, yeah, it leads to kind of self-delusions, uh, illusions, illusions of grandeur, self-deception. So it's just like there can be this time where we learn a lot and we expose ourselves to a lot. We make new friends or we get a new book or we, you know, we get new information and it, it's what we need to do. And this is the best thing about Neptune that I really want to stress right now. It is retreats and it is meditation and it is nature and it is the wild and it is like going out and going up and going in. Yeah, and Pisces is the ashram, the mountaintop, the cave. It's like, this is a beautiful week to go off on retreat and to step back and not be forced into the ordinary, you know, I mean, Gemini, that, that's the, this is the square. This is the tension. Sun, Mercury, Mars, and Gemini is like, get the work done, get the website done, get it all done, more action, more thinking, you know, more computers, more phone conversations, and da 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 da, da. And, and Neptune is just like calling, calling, calling us into the silence, calling us out of the mind, calling us into the heart space, calling us into love, and let go of the city and the job and the routine and the busyness and everything. And it's so, so there's this little bit of tension going on. And I just want to encourage you, make the best of it, make the most of it, and balance it. I, I'd say not only balance it, but that's what the mantra is about today. Yes, the mantra is about today is, and this is, you know, well, you know, it's, it's never very easy to close the book of dreams. But if I connect my head and my heart, it's not as hard as it seems. That kind of came to me that, and it's, and it's got something, there's, there's something really interesting about this dynamic. Yeah, that as we move into the field of love that I learned about this weekend at the sexual renaissance, you know, convention here in Montreal, that's why I'm here, you know, they created fields of love. It was, and, and if, we, if we are in our heart space, and if we are in our field of love, we have to understand that it was about three months ago that the sun and Mercury joined Neptune. And a little bit before that, Mars joined Neptune. And this is the first quarter square. It's like a first quarter moon. And it's to take that dream that we had a few months back and take that heart space and take that love. And now the challenge is to come out and you know what? Create the dream, make the dream here expand the dream, manifest the dream. 
And it's when we go and we kind of come out of the dream. It's like waking up this morning. It was kind of hard to wake up this morning. I had a late night last night and it's been a wild weekend. I'm sucking on a cough drop now. <laughs> but it's hard to get up. It's hard to let go of that dream. You want to stay in that dream space, but it's like life is now calling us. Create a new paradigm. Manifest the love field of love. You know, it's like, come on out. And this first quarter square is like, come on out, you know? And, and what that does, it's, it's, it's kind of like it's overwhelming a little bit, yeah? If you, if you get too caught up in the details and too caught up in the steps or the instructions or the, it's about living the dream. And it's about, you know, uniting yourself within yourself, your masculine and feminine, your head and your heart and your genitals. It's like really, you know, when you are living, when you are creating the dream within yourself, that is radiating out as a beautiful example, model to everyone you meet, everyone in the universe. And that's what this is all about now, is the Sun, Mercury, Mars wants to communicate the dream. And there's an old patriarchal, there's an old conventional, there's an old herd state, you know, there's old, you know, forms and structures and institutions. What did Bebe Des call it? You know, the empires, the religions and the corporations, <laughs> you know, it's like this Gemini, you know, daily reality that, that we are in can seem too big, too formidable, too much, too overwhelming, and we can feel insignificant. And that's what I find is my problem with cities. You walk around and there's just like so many people, man. You begin to feel somewhat, I, I feel, less powerful and less special and less individual. It's just like, wow, there's so many people. What can one person do? I'm surrounded with all these people, you know? Whereas you go out in the jungle and you're the only one there and it's like, well, I can do anything I want. <laughs> but anyway, Gemini's the city. Gemini's the internet. Gemini is communication and networking. So it's time to take that dream. And if you're coming from your heart, you've got no fear. Let's not forget. The mind is the masculine. It forms walls of exclusion and separation. And then it's me against them or us against them. Or it's, you know, and, and, and there's this fear. This can be a super paranoid time. If you get in your head, you can feel Neptune is like confusion. And I don't know what they're going to say or think or if they're going to like me or not or da 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 da. If I really know what I'm talking about or is am I just crazy? Or blah, blah, blah. And the mind just can go on with all kinds of doubts and illusions and fears and blah, 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 the head. And if you get from the head down into the heart, down into the field of love, down into the space of unity, down into the I am another you and you are another me and we're in this together and, and we're figuring it all out as a team. We're a research team here. All the fear dissipates. All the anxiety goes away. And you know, all it's just like, it's totally freaking awesome. So that's what the mantra is about, yeah? I'll say it one more time, it's like, um, it's, uh, it's never, it's never very easy to close the book of dreams. But if I connect my head to my heart, it's not as hard as it seems. May you connect your head to your heart and have a wonderful week. Namaste. Aloha, so much love.